Captain's Log, Stardate 2027.1 Dear Cindy, I am being held prisoner on a barren asteroid by the evil Klingon Emperor. Oh, will you stop complaining? It's only for six weeks. Well, I cannot tell you how I regret letting you bring that camera. It's gonna be a good experience for you, Paul. You'll thank me for it someday. I'm gonna thank him for this. What kind of life is this? Being dragged around the world looking for pot fragments and aliens? Well, what can you do? Cindy, I debuted my act last week in the Workman's Mess. It went over really good, um, considering that they don't speak English, but, you know, they're not very hip down here. I don't know, they didn't even know who Bullwinkle was. Well, what are you gonna do? Next time I'll pass out cliff notes. Paul, quit trying. You're not going to L.A. to become a comic, and that's Dad, it. Dad, come on. No, you're not, Paul. First of all, you're not funny. Second of all, you don't know what L.A.'s like. It's, it's like New Jersey with earthquakes. Mm. Come on, let's go. The early bird catches the worm. Oh, is breakfast ready? Doctor, doctor, uh, we found someone to translate the stone. Oh, great, Ramon. Is that exciting, Paul? Yeah, I'm psyched, really. Abatu, Viracocha, Indarate, Anderita. Anderita. What did he say? Uh, must be chewing many coca leaves, doctor. He said he reads, Beware of Viracocha. The fire of the gods will bring justice from now until the end of time. Yeah, you should ask him how many times he's seen the curse of the mummy. You sure about that, Ramon? Oh, he seemed very sure, doctor. Nothing about space travelers? No, not in my time. for a little archaeological field work. Well, you know, Dad, I was never really good at field trips in school, so... Oh. Dad, I'll just come wait on, out here. Paul, oh, this is incredible. I've got chills. Because it's cold, Dad. This is pneumonia weather. I want to go home. Come on. Shh. Paul, oh. oh. look at the stonework. shared by many that aliens cut these stones with lasers. Ah! What is it? Some anorexic Spaniard, Dad. What was that? Oh. Oh, look at this. This is Inte, the sun god of the Chimanacos. Look, Ma, no cavities. You go, you go look over there. Go on. Oh, look at this. This is unbelievable. It's solid gold. It's incredible that the Spaniards didn't cut this off. What's the matter? Get that some South American cockroach, Dad. Bigger than a cocker spaniel. I'm out of here. Shh. Take it easy, Paul. I'll have a look. There's nothing here. Over here, Dad. What? Come here. I was right. It's an alien. Dad, you don't know that he's an alien? Um, Maybe an illegal alien. He just learned Spanish because he's been here so long. I mean, what else could he be? A Nazi genetic experiment. <laughs> Definitely an alien. Uh, go get something for me to put him in. be a big help to me, amigo. You're gonna prove my theory that Machu Picchu was a control tower for alien spaceships. Let the skeptics laugh. I have my living extraterrestrial proof to back me up. Right, amigo? Calculated risk. Here, hold this. Now, let's see. Shot this, Dad. You know he might get zips. Raymond! I'm gonna get a sample of this. What do you think it is? I don't know. It glows in the dark. It's like toxic waste. Dad, he's 
getting into the bag. Good, good. Raymond! Raymond! Si, doctor. Two things, Raymond. We need transportation into Lima and bribe the workers to keep quiet. It's not necessary, doctor. How come? They all ran away screaming. I'm with them, Dad. <laughs> oh. Voy a preparar todo. Yeah, whatever. Gracias. Tastes good? Well, looks like we have a litter bug alien, Dad. Not funny. Step aside and disrobe. Hey, Cindy. <laughs> Will passenger William Oliver please report to the information? Oh, I missed you. Oh, I have something for you. Your very own Peruvian baseball cap. Hmm. I think she's very good for him. Girl. A pointed hat? I've never had a pointed hat before. Oh, this tape's for you, too. I didn't have a chance to send it. How are the Giants doing? Are they still in first place? How did the series with the Dodgers go? Simon. Simon, you're not gonna believe it. They yeah. won. They won. Yeah. Won on a suicide squeeze. Wow. Who? What? Right. So that's okay. Uh, I'll get the luggage myself. Chili Davis. Yeah. Chili Davis yeah. was on third yeah. and broke for the plate. And Renly laid down a perfect bunt. And Chili did a hook slide around the tackle with a ball head run. Cindy, what about my sports rundown? Battle Network stars. Yep. Webster lost to St. Elsewhere in the final round of Greco-Roman wrestling. Split decision. The tie always goes to the dramatic series. There is no respect <laughs> for sitcoms anymore. Hey, that's a sports world for you. Now I'm down a thousand big ones, Uncle Cecil. I told you I don't want you betting with that crook. Hey, what's in there? Paul, did you bring me back a little baby llama? <laughs> I'll take him out. No, 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 he's fine in here. I, I put a sock in there for him to play with. Dad, he's not a puppy. Oh, not a puppy, huh? What is it, an anteater? No, you're not even warm. A ground slot. Is it marsupial? No, I didn't check for a pouch. A Bolivian wombat. <laughs> Shoot. be a great day.
Hi, everybody. How was the trip, Doc? Find any alien beings? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Eddie. Not this time. I downshifted to 35 by the time I hit the sign sport. Did I say you were speeding, Missy? That's deputy sport to you. I had you at 12 dBs over acceptable noise limits when your car backfired. Look, I downshifted to keep from speeding. I've warned you to get that tune-up before. So maybe now you'll start obeying the environmental standards that make Sweetwater such a nice place to live and raise kids. Get a real job. Get that tune-up noise, criminal. <laughs> She wasn't so cute, I'd miss her. You're a vegetarian now. Uh, just like I told you, Paul. Well, technically, I'm a cold-blooded veggie. I just don't like to eat warm-blooded animals. That's all. Come on up. So what does that leave? Snakes and salamanders? You know, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, I still eat seafood, you know. You know, I am not at all happy about this. Hey, fella, you ever watch TV? TV. Hi, I'm Cecil Water. You know, there must be over 60 brands of white food around the market now, but there's only one original. Cecil's all-natural wine cooler made out of wholesome California products. Cecil's is the real, real thing. Uncle Cecil, what a goof. What a goof. I got him some treats. You want snacks? Oh, he's so cute. Can't we take him out of the bag now? No, 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 no. Leave him in there. I don't want anybody finding out about him. Yeah. Uh, Dad thinks he's an alien. Hey, Dad thought the Osmonds were aliens. Well, that hasn't been disproved yet. Oh. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen anybody eat so much junk since that time you got drunk. Remember, and you ate that bar of hash? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you thought it was a chunky? <laughs> It. What? He's a munchie. <laughs> we gotta get the guy a name, like um, Arnold Ziffel. The pig on Green Acres? Yeah. See, he likes it. Oh, no. Okay, here's the number of the hotel I'll be staying at tonight. I'm heading over to the university to catch Dr. Crowder's lecture. Ink and hieroglyphics, art form or cosmic joke. Are you gonna tell him about Arnold? Who? Arnold. Oh, our little friend in the bag, huh? Of course I'm going to tell him about Arnold. Want him to see for himself, draw his own conclusions. You know, he has hinted that he believes in alien visitations. It's here in his book, Conquistador's Journal. If he backs up my theory, I'll be able to get a publisher for my book. Our money worries will be over. I hope. Cool, Dad. Well, I'm glad you support me in this, Paul, because I need your help. You must not let Arnold out of your sight until I get back. Ah, Dad, it's our first day back, and you want me to stay at home and babysit some alien? Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. You're a betting man, right? I'll make you a wager. I'll bet you that you can't look after Arnold for one day. If you win, we'll discuss this uh, budding comedy career of yours in L.A. Oh, that's some bet. Now, what happens if I lose? You stay here, you go to community college, and you become something reputable. You really go for the throat, Dad. You must keep him safe and hidden. Nobody must find out about him. Okay? Okay. I'm depending on you, Paul. There goes our bowling night. Oh, Lord, 
What did I ever do in my past lives to make that goddamn egg split in two? Welcome home, Brother Simon. Uh, you said you were going to sell me your half of the land when you got back. Well, here I am. And uh, here are the papers for you to sign. I'm sorry, Cecil, but uh, I've changed my mind. Uh, I got this deal pending. It looks like it could be real big. Uh, don't mean to inconvenience you, but uh, I could make a lot of money on this thing. I don't think I'd be hard up for money anymore, so I couldn't consider uh, signing those papers. Excuse me. So you want to play hardball, huh? OK, brother. Let's party. On Channel 3, you get all the really weird stuff. And on 24, you get all the old, really good movies. Now, this is how you turn it on. Why don't you try? Okay. You know, there is one brand of snack food that's not like all the rest. Cal Snacks. The all-natural snack food. Maybe not the biggest, but I think the best. A plain, honest, American product. And what do kids think about it? Can I have another mesquite-flavored beef jerky, Uncle Cecil? Yeah. Here you go, sir. I love space chewing sticks, and you get cars on my treating cards free. Trade Major, you have your Shinkoff command aboard Spatsky. Deal. Yeah, kids love them. And you will, too. Cal Snacks, the all-natural snack for a new generation. Here's my baby. Here, my sweet fish. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, dinner time. Hey, uh, Pop. What do you want, dude? And I ain't your Pop. Okay, let's stand on formalities then. Hey, stepdad, could you maybe front me 500 bucks for the weekend? 500? <laughs> what are you on, something? Quit kicking that thing. I'm practicing for a hacky sack tournament later. I don't see what the big deal is. Hacky sack? Oh, yeah, that's that sport you hippies play while you're doing drugs. Hey, like, don't lay your lifestyle judgments on me, man. You are a bum. You ain't working. You ain't in school. You ain't married. You're a bum. Now, you want $500. Now, are you on something? Grass? Cook? Snack? Crack? Oh! You're a bum. I'm coming back, sweetie. Incredibly bad energy, man. You know, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, I still eat seafood, you know. Cindy, everybody knows that relationships are based on liking the same restaurant. Now, where does that leave us? H salt fish and chips? Bob's Big Boy New England Cod Dinner? Or maybe a filet of fish at McDonald's? No, filet of fish is out. They deep fry in beef fat. Trucking up to Buffalo. I've been thinking you gotta mellow slow. It take time to pick a place to go. So just keep trucking. Oh! oh, like not cool, Pop. That's an English import dead LP, man. Oh, I don't care if it's Burr Lives, man. Got a little job for you, scum. Forget it, Pop. I'm not endangering my karma by associating with you. Oh, that's too bad, dude. Because either you help me or you're going to go back to that uh, teepee of yours in Utah. Now, uh, you want money, and I got the job. Now, are you in? Oh, man, what choice do I got? Either be a cog in the wheel or starve like a dog. Babies. Come on, it's child time. Come on, Petey. Come on, Woody. Come on, boys. Chow, chow, chow now. I know something you didn't like. Arnold. <laughs> Chicks, Arnold. <laughs> no, Paul. Um. Arnold's amusing himself with Miss July. Mm -hmm. And you and I haven't seen each other 
in a very long time. Are you asking me to uh, shirk my responsibilities for some sleazy teenage sex? Absolutely. Okay. Featuring the mile long 700 item salad bar. This steak is so tender it doesn't even taste like meat. I just love those tater tots. Yep, for beef so tender it melts in your mouth, it's Western Beefland. Four convenient valley locations. Thank you. You watch what you're doing. Take off that stupid cat. The guy on the Wild Kingdom always wears a hat like this, man. Man, you act like you've never seen the Wild Kingdom before. It's nice to have you home. <laughs> So rough. I haven't done anything yet. No! Gross! Felt up my fur ball. Arnold, get downstairs and watch TV. Now! It's all your fault. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Sure that thing's a cat? Shut up and open that garbage bag. Oh, wow, man. Just like cats from the snow leopard on the wild kingdom, man. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, you want to play doctor? What? Or something? That's probably just Arnold raiding the refrigerator. Hit me again. Hey, <laughs> goof! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys know each other, huh? <laughs> Don't get wise, punk. Well, it's been real pop, but I gotta get going. Oh, no, you don't. You ain't finished yet. You're gonna help me out with this creature. But I got things to do, man. I'm going to the Berkeley Tie-Dye and Hacky Sack Festival. Now, dude, haven't I always treated you like you was my own stepson? But I am your stepson. I know, and I always treated you like you was, didn't I? Yeah, you always treated me like a stepchild. Yes. Well, you guard him with your life, or you won't have one. You threatening me, Pop. Yes. 
Okay. I'm going to the bus station now to pick up your mother. And you watch him. Scum. Some books of green stamps to get that. Sure missed you. Did you? Bed got awful cold tonight. <gasps> One thing I'll never know, though, honey, is why you agreed to adopt that worthless kid when you left that known contest of yours. 
Incredibly bad energy, man. Oh, yeah. uh, Rudy, how you feeling, man? Leon, what did I have to drink last night? I feel sick. Hey, hey, Rudy, where are we? Look at this kitchen. You ever see such an ugly kitchen? Oh. Hey, let's go. Come on. Truck in. I got my chips cashed in. Keep it trucking. Crank it all the way up, man. What are you doing? What? But this is where I always look for when I lose my keys. Then why don't you just rip the carpet up, too? Where could he have gone? To the store for a pack of cigarettes and a case of cow snacks. Jokes I don't need. This is horrible. This is worse than the time you almost married the Joe Montana impersonator oh, in Hawaii. Why do you have to keep bringing that up? Arnold, come home! You know, it serves you right. It serves you right for letting him read that magazine. You act like I had him freebasing at the Playboy Mansion or something. He just didn't have any time, that's all. You know, I can't believe your lack of faith in me. You never used to be this way. Never said loving was easy. <laughs> Where'd those guys come from? I don't know. Wait right here. I'm gonna go around. You keep them occupied. Okay? Okay. Hey, fellas! like that for me. Deja vu. <clears throat> you think just because my dad's away at the riot control convention, that's your cue to run wild in the streets? Um, Eddie, you're, you're not going to believe this, but um, Cindy's dad is in the CIA. 
and we are on a mission of national security. That ugly yellow car is full of Ruski spies with stolen secrets from the Silicon Valley. Really? Yeah. Need some help? Come on, let me help. I was an Eagle Scout, you know. Okay, but this is classified information. We have reason to believe that they are planning to blow up Golfland and discredit the American way of life. Okay. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> How did you know my dad was in the CIA? His Dakota ring gave him away. What are you reading? Oh, this is the nice issue of Inside Celebrities. There's an interview with Ozzy Osbourne. How today's dating is rough on sensitive guys. Why you read trash like that? It's educational, honey. Look, here's your astroscope. Oh, my ass. Let's see. Cancer, you have little patience with the eccentricity of neighbors. Home is where your heart is. barrels. I'm running out of space. The caves under the factory are getting filled up. I'm gonna have to get my hands on more land. Oh, you're such a go-getter, Cecil. Well, honey, I just happen to know that toxic waste is America's greatest natural resource, and it's completely untapped. You see, the difference between America and the rest of the world is we know about recycling. You mean like squishing up aluminum cans? No, honey, more than that. I'm talking about way more than that. Let me give you an example. Okay. You know, there is no difference between toxic waste and beef jerky. Oh, get out. No, I mean it. No. Purity Meats pays me to haul away their floor scraps. I take it, I press it into jerky and sell it. Same thing with toxic waste. Companies pay me to haul it away. I treat it with my secret neutralizing sauce, and then I make it into my cow snacks products. Twin killing, make money on it twice. You're an American success story. Couldn't do it without you, sweet meat. <laughs> Can't wait to get you home.
towards it. Oh, look at this mess. Mark. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No one kills my tropical fish and lives. What's happened here? Your son blew it again. That's what's happened. I figured out a way to force Simon to sell me his land, but he blew it. He let the creature get away. What creature? You know some damn thing Simon found in Peru. We gotta get Big Ed back up here pronto. Let's get Eddie. Eddie, we saw his car at Golfland. Yeah, oh, he's dumber than his old man. But I guess we're stuck with him until Big Ed gets back. <coughs> Clearview, please. Number the Easy Eight Motel. Red tide of communism is destroying the American fiber, eroding the American way of life as we know. <laughs> Those Soviet scums make me want to fuck. You guys must think you're pretty funny. Sending me off to guard golf land, huh, wise guy? Those Ruski spies must have a high-level informant in the CIA. But we really need your help to get a line on dude's car. I mean, can't you put out, like, a dragnet or something? That's an APB, Kojak. <laughs> An all-points bulletin is reserved for bona fide, high-priority police emergencies, and then only by directive of a commanding officer. You guys must not realize that you're dealing with a very sharp lawman. I know there are no slimy Soviet spies in that ugly yellow car. You're covering up for dude and his worthless deadhead pals. <laughs> I told you we couldn't fool Eddie Paul. Eddie! Eddie, what are you doing to stop the impending disaster? With all due respect, Mr. Waterman, might I remind you that I am the police officer and you are the civilian? I don't intend to let rampant anarchy rule the day just because my dad's away. <laughs> what impending disaster? The disaster that wrecked my condo, ate my tropical fish, and killed Dude Mackintosh, my beloved stepson. There's been a murder? Well, my first murder. What a great day. I'm on the case. <laughs> Where am I going? My place, you lunkhead. This is all your fault. If you wouldn't have kidnapped Arnold, none of this would have happened. Yeah, now there's four of them. They're all mad as hell. I don't know what you're talking about. The point is, we gotta track this thing down. Pronto! Now, are you and your bimbo in this with me or what? Who are you calling bimbo, you polyester cowboy? Who are you calling polyester cowboy, you cheap dime store floozy? <laughs> I wasn't such a lady, I would pop you one. We'll find Arnold for ourselves, Cecil. Oh, just what I expected from today's youth. There ain't a real American among you. <laughs> And it's the 4th of July, too. Cecil, if you're such a patriot, how come your space chewy sticks are the official snack food of the Russian communists, huh? Because you gotta bribe those bums at NASA to get an endorsement. With the commies, you just cut them in for a percentage. <laughs> but I ain't got time to stand around here talking snack food economics to you two. Come on, Melis, let's roll! Ooh, yes. Gotta be big Ed. I want your chromosomes checked before we have kids. Whoa, would you look at those beautiful babies? I'm going to 
around for a closer look. Oh, catch those beach balls. <laughs> I only dated him to get to Whitney, who is merely the richest guy in town. <laughs> Denise, whose sister's a salad bar manager at Western Beefway. Yeah, you know, dude. What are those things? Dude's pals from Santa Cruz? Come on, Arnold. Come on, I'd recognize those beady eyes anywhere. Thanks for the help, Amy. <laughs> You're the one to talk. Besides, I'm not missing cheers and you can't because of you. Come on. Uh, uh. Must have gotten away down the pipes. Well, now they could be anywhere. What were those things? Uh, tourists from, from Nevada. Inside, inside. I don't know. I can't decide. What should I get, vanilla or chocolate? I'm going for mocha chip. Stay there. Get back. Get back in the car.
next time I want to try rum lazy. We'll beat the hospital soon. What were those things? Aliens, huh? Already told you. Adults are talking. Forget the hospital. It's not too bad. Bob was mauled by a grizzly in Yellowstone once. Well, I hope it wasn't Yogi. I've had worse. I was mauled by a grizzly in Yellowstone once. Say, you folks around here? Elko, Nevada, originally. Well, say, is it really true that the sense is green in the nuclear testing zone and that your milk goes sour while you're drinking it? anti new propaganda. Okay. Okay, the milk's true. But the sunsets are only really green on blast days. Baby. Here, I'll, I'll get the seat for you. Watch your cone. Thanks for the lift. Are you going to be okay? Can I help you? No, no, we've done this before. Honey, what do you want this time, stitches or clamps? Let's go back to my house and check Dr. Crowder's book, because I don't know where to look for them anymore. Okay. Can't you guys move it out any faster? facilities, when they don't have a video arcade they can go into to develop the necessary hand-eye coordination that's so vital in the computer age, when they don't have a cow snack symposium to go into where they can get good, wholesome food so they can grow up to be big and strong. And why? Because special interest groups oppose the solar mall for their own selfish reasons. Hi, I'm Cecil Waterman, and I want to build that solar mall for the people of Sweetwater. So vote yes on Proposition 61. Say yes, we want the mall for our kids. Thanks for your support. Paid for by the Better Tomorrow Through Malls Committee. Oh, boy, that's Cecil. What a, what a sleaze. It's surprising he's not Washington. He wouldn't go for the pay cut. You know, I think I've got something here. You do? You know, it is really such a turn on when you take charge and everything. Really? Uh-huh. If I would have known that, I would have taken a Dale Carnegie course years ago. You know, it says here that there are legends that the high priests were able to bring inanimate objects to life. They used, and I quote, the fire of the gods. Once brought to life, the objects then supposedly had regenerative powers which made them unable to be destroyed. Hmm. What do you think fire of the gods means? I don't know. But you can probably rule out microwaves. Regenerative powers. That's how come there's four of them. It's like with a worm. You have one worm, you cut it in half, you have two worms. We've got to warn everybody not to cut them, otherwise we're going to have hundreds of munchies running around Sweetwater stealing junk food.
little piggy was a bad little piggy, then we, we, we all the way home. Oh, oh honey, come Mommy, I've been a better stepmother. Oh, darling, you were a wonderful mother. Oh, you were bite. wonderful. Oh, no, honey, I don't want to. I just want to bite of you, my no. girl. I love you so much. Oh, maybe I'll have a pink one. All right. Where's the insurrection? It's Big Ed. Like the Lord. The door's made out of redwood, you jackass. Well, the place is destroyed. What do you need a door for? Oh, Big Ed, we miss you. Oh. <laughs> Where'd you get the riot gear? Oh, well, you like it? Borrowed it from some buddies of mine on the tactical assault squad. Huh? Now, darling, why don't you go get us a cool drink? Would you mind, sweetheart? Eddie, give her a hand. She's deeply bereaved. Oh, go on, darling. Thank you. Oh. We got a full-blown crisis on our hands. Huh. Eddie couldn't handle it, huh? You know, he graduated in the top 70% of deputy school. <laughs> you know, boss, I was having a great time at this convention. I got this riot gun here, and I got this... You just forget dude. that! Now listen, if those creatures get into the underground caves, people are gonna find out that I have been storing barrels of toxic waste under the town. Now, if I go down, you come with me. Mine, Cecil, I found some more stuff out about those creatures. You see, I they... don't want to hear it. I'll take care of those hostile little bastards in my own way. But, Cecil, oh, you got to listen. It's almost 9 o'clock. We've got to get over to golf land for those ribbon-cutting ceremonies. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I haven't even memorized my speech yet. Oh. Cecil, you got to listen to me. Ladies and gentlemen, the beginning of recorded time, is always certain. Oh, boy, you hear you do it. Oh, history, civilization has advanced for the good of all men, when a few great men have had bold new visions and the courage to carry them out. Yeah. But behind every great man there is a loving and dedicated woman who fills his days and nights with a love that is so profound so deep that it urges him on to fulfill even his wildest dreams. Caesar had his Cleopatra, Napoleon had his Josephine, and Sonny had his share. The luckiest of all, I've had my Melvis. You know, <clears throat> They laughed at me when I said I would build the world's first 36-hole miniature golf course. But I didn't listen to other people. I followed my dream. And with this fine lady's help, I have brought this valley 36 holes of miniature golf. I officially now declare Melvis's miniature golf land officially open. Yes, I
I'll make par if I get this one. But Dad, you don't understand. It's them. Dad, they're here. Shh. Dad. Shh. Look. Dad, look. Look at it. Proper and adequate medical care. Well, that's we're talking about the new abridged law, which doesn't say anything about that, actually. As a matter of fact, I can buy you anything I want with them, really. I can probably take them down and get. Hey! Just, just take care of them, huh? Just get them out. Just move, 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 move! You know, maybe I should drive, Bob. I could use the practice. <laughs> Seventh hole, the pagoda. Watch it. Thanks. Hey, we're making a run to the clinic over at Harmony Falls. You need a lift? Yes. Get in. It wasn't my fault, Dad. Honest. Well, son, I think you've done a pretty fair job of maintaining order here. Gee, thanks, Dad. Ed! Get over here! Well, do something, you dumb mother! Oh, Cecil, don't you say the F word. There's a lady present. Just don't stand there. Plug him! Oh, code blue, Dad. Right, son? Cover him a rear. All right, let me get a little beat on him now. All right. You can't kill him with guns. Yeah, and how do you know that? Because I read this book called The Conquistador's Journal. Oh, look, these things regenerate. You can't kill them. If you cut them up, there's just going to be more of them. I don't believe that crap. Do you, Melvis? Well, I don't know. Hiya, Toots. Hold us, son. Good shooting, Ed. I'll do you how to do it. Thanks, Elvis. It's party time. Those ugly little things are wearing all the dude's stuff. Denise Todd had that scarf for my baby's birthday. Take it easy, honey. I'll fix their wagon. Oh, 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 oh. Give me your helmet, Ed. Oh, I can't. It's a long time. I'll still give you a helmet. Oh. 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 Give me them. Are you crazy? You're going to cut them up and make more of them. Get them. He doesn't know what he's doing. Thank you. Well, I guess that shows you what you don't know. Well, not exactly. You say what? Cecil, I told you not to cut him up. Now there's seven of them. No, get out of my sight. And arrest him and take his blue leaf. Don't let everybody talk to me, too. And put him in the big house. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, come here. Where does this drain pipe lead to? Uh, the waterman wash. 
We gotta get to the factory before they get into the underground storage areas. Can I have my helmet back? Is your head getting cold? Hey, Eddie. You're not really gonna take us to the big house, are you? Where? Oh, oh, jail. <laughs> yeah, I am. Good lawman always follows orders. No, no, no. A really good lawman thinks on his feet and makes snap decisions whenever unforeseen circumstances should arise. I'm not listening to you. Paul already lied to me about those Ruski spies. Come on, Eddie. Don't you want to be a big hero and get all the glory when you capture those things? Well, maybe. You're for Charo, man. I guess you did a movie once. I want to see naked women. Maybe she was naked. I, I, I don't know why you want to go back to golf land. Oh, see the crime clues. All that macho cop stuff. You know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm the lawman, remember? Couldn't we stop at Pizza Land? Sure could go for a couple of slices right yeah, now. I'm hungry. They don't serve meals on the bus, you know. I told you we can't. We've got to get to the factory. Just get a couple of takeout slices. Pizza gives me gas. Just like he said in the journal. There it goes on. Come on. I hate Western beef land. Besides, Inquirer says that red meat clogs your plumbing. They got the best salad bar in the state, Big Well, now you're talking. Salad will set you free. All right, all right, all right. We'll go to the drive through at Burgerland, and that's it. Okay. Burgers give me indigestion. Well, that's because they clog your plumbing. God, it's cold down here. Reminds me of Peru. I wonder why this place is all lit up. I'm sure Mr. Waterman's got a perfectly reasonable explanation. Probably a perfectly sleazy one. He is my role model, you know. Yeah, he would be. Look. <laughs> they must have gone this way. Come on. You okay, bud? Which 
one, Paul. Well, you guys go down here and I'll try down here. Meet back here in five minutes. All right. Let's synchronize our watches. I've got 10.57. Check. Check! <clears throat> okay. So maybe I panicked a little bit out there, huh? There was only one of them? But wouldn't there have been, let's say, a hundred of them? And they're tearing the flesh off your bones and you're screaming. Eddie, no one... shut up! You little twerps ain't finished yet? Jeez, how am I ever gonna be regional manager with employees like you, huh? Short stops, okay? It's guys like Butch that give Burgerland managers a bad name. Forget him. He's got socialization problems. Bad skin. This is Cecil Waterman. Ordering. Oh wait, I don't want the patty. I just want a bun with um with lettuce and tomato. And I just like a fruit bowl. No, please. you don't want a fruit bowl. Got strawberries and gives you hives. Well, I thought pineapples. No, I'll... that's it. I'll... Give me three double Melvis burgers, three large fries, and three solar shakes. Do you copy? I said, do you copy? Three double Melvis burgers, three large fries, and three solar shakes. Do you get it? Well, we got a broken squat box. So, this is Cecil Waterman, and I'm ordering. Three double Melvis burgers, three large fries, and three solar shakes. Do you copy? In a pickle, pickle. Where is it? Hello? Hey, it's slow tonight. Butcher! himself another job. Butcher, where are you? Butcher, you here? We didn't get our Melvis burgers. I don't like these games now, Butcher. This is Cecil Waterman. What's happening? Hit them lights, Ed. Cindy, Paul is a really cool dude and everything, but uh, he's not exactly what you'd call a go-getter kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? What are you talking about, Eddie? <laughs> well, it just seems to me that an incredibly happening chick like yourself would go out with a guy with a real future. <laughs> like who, Eddie? <sighs> I'm going back to deputy school to be recertified as a special weapons expert. And, then I figure I'll probably retire from my wild and totally hot bachelor life and settle down and buy myself a little place near Video Land. Eddie, I'd rather become a nun and join a convent. I got no problems with my wife working. Woman soon, I won't be held responsible. Oh, you too. <laughs> Come on. Who's that? Eddie? Eddie? Eddie, speak to me. Eddie, Eddie, if you wake up right now, I'll be your wife. Well, look, 
get engaged. Um, what, what I mean is, is we'll go, we'll go steady. Huh? Look, Eddie. We'll go out. Once. Maybe for coffee. Sweetheart, Daddy's here. Now, don't be scared. Here, here, take my hand. There. Is that better? Yeah, thanks, boss. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bonjour, Cindy. Come to me, my little peach blossom, my sweet little rain pass, my little souffle chocolat. <laughs> Simon? I, I gotta bring him something. He's counting on me. Wait a minute. I think I found something. Oh, it's on the panel all the time. It was right here all the time. <laughs> Can you imagine, honey? It was there. We were looking all over the place, and it was right here. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. You right, darling? Mr. Waterman. On the side, side, you idiot! Good work. Way to go, son. Thanks, Dad. What happened to them monsters? Smashed to smithereens, no thanks to you. Here, look at this. Asbestos for tater tot mix? Agent Orange for Mandarin Orange wine cooler? Well, uh, I guess it's been a long night for all of us. You probably want to get back you home. you scum. Cow snacks are made with toxic waste. But it's harmless, Paul. Can't hurt anybody. I've treated it all with my secret neutralizing mix. Of course, I wouldn't want it to get around, you know, trade secrets and everything. You know, Paul, I've been thinking, you know, I could use a smart fella like you around the factory. Put you in charge of the uh, Endangered Species Sponge Cake Division. What's your answer, nephew? Just this. Oh, sweetheart! Oh, honey! I want him arrested for assault, eh? Right, darling. What are you doing? What? You work for me! Not no more. You never did tell me about poisoning the food. You can't arrest me! I've seen those movies about what happens to nice girls like me in prison. Hey! You're already on your way to the big house, so why don't you just put a sock in it, toots? Look what happened to Linda Blair! Oh, Eddie, can you give us a ride to my house? 
No problem, good buddy. <laughs> I'll give you that recommendation to deputy school if you want. My name carries a lot of weight around there. I finished highest in parking enforcement. Well, I might take you up on that. It looks like I'm gonna be around here for a while, so... See you later, Eddie. Bye, Eddie. What happened to Arnold? Uh, Dad, you're never gonna believe this. It I was all Cecil's fault. Simon, yes. I've never seen one this well-preserved. You didn't have to hand me that line about aliens. I would have come anyway. Oh, uh, this is Dr. Crowder from the Archaeology Institute. Uh, this is my son, Paul, his Hi. friend, Cindy. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Uh, may I? Sure. Amazing. I can offer you $25,000 for this statue. It's yours. What an addition this is going to make to the university's natural history museum. Some will say I've paid too much, of course, but for something like this, unbelievable. Well, I, I guess I lost a bet. I'll go tomorrow and enroll in community college, and that... Oh, son, I forgot to tell you. Do you remember that sample that I took at the, at the temple? Yeah. Well, I had it analyzed, and it's some sort of toxic waste, but there are no elements in it that are known on Earth. So you mean Machu Picchu is really... An alien toxic waste dump. I've got my new bestseller. Machu Picchu, toxic waste dump of the gods. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you could probably use that in your act, huh? You mean I don't have to go to college? No. Good mind is a terrible thing to waste. Not funny, Dad. Not funny. <laughs> So, mm. how do you feel about L.A.? Mm, it's like New Jersey. Blue for earthquakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> 